All right, this is what we're going to build. This is a walker, a rotating leg walker that will go anywhere. Start out in the middle, two blocks wide, go as far as you can on both ends, and then we'll call this the middle or the center. Go eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put it on the ninth block. You want an eight block gap. Six, seven, eight, nine, and both sides. Uh, trim off the end so you have a two block length, four in total. One, two, three, and so we have a two block. And get your bearings out, put a bearing on each one of those little nubs. And I like to put a different color on the bearings so I know where they're at. And come up four. Total of four. One, two, three, four. And that is important, this height. So come out three more. And then come down one. Okay, uh, shock. It's the large shock. This is all vanilla. Put a shock on each one of those, and then put a block on the bottom of each shock. And a bearing. And a colored block onto the bearing. And then the feet, we're going to be facing that way, so we want the feet to come out two more blocks for a total of three. All right, that's the chassis for the most part. Next, we'll do the, the weight, the dampener. This really smooth things out. We'll go a total of four high. One, two, three, four, and come out seven. Four, five, six, seven, and two wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we can get, get uh, the thrusters. This is the front. The front thruster, we want to turn all the way up. The rear thruster, we'll put on the third one up from the bottom. So we're actually turning it down one from default. We're going to need a chair. Too wide, center it, and a button, and we'll hook those up. Just put it right there. The thrusters to the bear or to the button. 
button to the seat. That should give us button number one. I have that mapped to my middle mouse button. Next, for button number two and three, we want the lean left and lean right. And because a shot glitch is three wide, we're going to do this asymmetrical because our frame is only two wide. So we want to make sure we're on opposite corners here. And we are bearing in a block. And then this one, we're going to put the shock on top of this block so it would potentially spin like a propeller. And you want to cap it off. But by we'll build a little box around it. And by doing that, it won't allow it to spin, but it will exert force. You do not want to attach to that structure in any way. You can go right beside it, but do not attach to it. So we're going to have to put a block there to attach that side to you. Do the same front and rear. There's our block. And then cap this off by looking either at this block or that block. Do not attach it to that block. And these get uh, controllers. One there, one there, and a button. And I want this to be button number one, or button number two, the front. So we'll go to the bearing, put it in the controller, controller to the button, button to the seat, that's button number two. Go into the controller, give it 15 degrees to the right. And we're done with that one. And this should be button number three. Go into our controller. 15 degrees to the blue, and that is it. And I think we're done climbing around up there. We'll get rid of these. Now, the next we want to do the steering, the turn left and turn right. So we're going to do that same thing as we did up there, only we're just going to lay them down on their back or their front. This is basically what we're doing. Uh, bearing our block. Uh, getting caught up on that and then put your shock on like so horizontally and cap it off make sure it highlights when you do that so you know you're getting the shock and not the frame above it and now we'll cap these off we'll put our block there to attach to run it all the way past the front you only need to cap around the front uh, this is the bearing here uh, see what I'm saying? You got to have that block right there. You have to have the top or the the non-bearing end surrounded. Block there. And this one right here is, has to be there. Now we'll take that bearing and just go directly to the seat. There's no controller needed for these horizontal ones. However, you do need to reverse these, otherwise your left will be right and your right will be left. Okay, and we're done with the top. Just hit the bottom. Need two controllers. One there. One there. And now these controllers need a button. I mean a switch, not a button. They need a switch. You turn it on and it stays on. And this is how it works. Blue is on one controller. Red is on the other. Blue and red. Blue is on one controller. Red is on the other. And when you run them uh, opposite of each other, you start walking. So we're going to come up here, we'll do the front one on that side. So we're going to, all all these 
legs. Each leg has three bearings. This le this bearing and this bearing spin forward. This top one spins backwards. So that's the one we're going to pay attention to when we go to adjust it. But in the meantime, we'll hook our middle leg up to the bear to the front controller. All three of them, and then on the other side, front and rear. Then we'll go to the other side, do this middle one to the back. And these two on the other side. Okay, so all our bearings are hooked up. We're going to come over here to the left-hand side as you're sitting in the vehicle facing forward. Left-hand side, we need to reverse all these bearings on the left-hand side so that the blue is facing forward on every bearing below the seat for the most part. Uh, I don't know about those two, but all these down here need to be facing forward. Blue. So they're all hooked up, and we're going to go, that middle one goes to the front, so this one goes to the front. We're going to look at that middle one, that bearing right there, number three, and number five, and number seven. So we'll go into the controller, three goes backwards, five, backwards, seven, backwards. Everything else goes forward, you should have nine of them. And make sure you get 360 on all of them. Three sixty. Okay, looks pretty good. And check this box down here so it runs continuous. Leave it on fast and we're done with that one. Now for this side, we've got this one is number two, number five, and number eight. Number two, backwards. Number five, backwards. And number eight, backwards. Everything else to the right. Uh, check this while you're down there. To the right, blue, 360. And the last one, okay, double check them. Make sure you got nine. Make sure they're all doing something. And that is checked. You're on fast or you're on the same speed as the front one. And that's it. Pretty sure that's it. No, that is not it. Next, <laughs> forgot to hook them up. So next, we want to, we're almost there, trust me. Next we want to run, I want the front one to be number four. So we'll run this controller that switch to the seat. That's button number four. Controller to the switch to the seat number five. Now we should be good to go. Okay, we've got lean left, we've got lean right, we got turn left and right. We have front thruster more powerful than rear thruster. And button number four, button number five. They're not quite even, but a little bouncy. The closer you can get them to exactly opposite, the smoother it'll run. That's pretty close right there. I'm looking at the middle legs uh, just to see that it drops. It looks like a pretty straight line. All right, so everything seems to be working. We'll try the hill. And let's make sure it goes up and over. And it does. So there you go. One walking, rotating leg uh, machine. This one's made out of cardboard, so maybe we can take it out before it gets to the edge. 
Oh, we knocked a leg off. 